The following contest is an elimination match. Making her way to the ring, Diana Coral Salas, Rowdy Cole Sal Moore, and handsome Mac Kelly Dan. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. Guys, we have plenty of drama heading into the six-man tag team matchup. That's right, Michael. Anytime you put six superstars in the ring at the same time, there's no telling what will happen. Here we go again, three on three action underway now. We're at a crossroads. Neither competitor is backing down here. Into the tie-up they go, but who's going to end up with the upper hand? She's, oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. You gotta believe this one's over! We've got a cover. She got the shoulder up in time. She's still in this one. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. 
The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. Oh, uh, this is dangerous right here. Centaur connects. She's on the defensive now. She really needs to think about making a tag, guys. This isn't your traditional tag team match, guys. These matches require a slightly altered game plan. This is not at all what I expected from her here tonight, guys. I really thought she put up much more of a fight. But hey, there's still time. Uh, Cloverleaf locked in. So close, just a there it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Ooh-wee. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined for going for the cover. Come on, how is she still going here? So resourceful. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, with Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. Look at this. And that was only a one. She's still in this one. <laughs> Scoop slam. Oh, an elbow drop. Nice. Shut it down. Oh, that hurt to the chest. Victory is on the horizon. Me. That's what makes her so dangerous. The shoulders are down. Down they go. She's absorbing some offense here. Ouch. And the confidence she came into this six women's tag team match seems to be fading a bit. She's definitely slowing down here a bit. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. Going all the way up. Incoming. She's fading very quickly here, guys. It doesn't seem to be her night tonight, fellas. I don't know about you guys, oh, but this beating is getting rather uncomfortable to watch. What a strike. What a comeback. Here's the cover. One. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. It's way too early. All the way up. Oh, no. Good night! She goes for the cover. <laughs> Not the fall that hurts. It's the sudden stop at the end. She's on the defensive now. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. I think she's trying to prove a point here. We got a cover. Beautiful. 
beautiful technique. Oh, nasty impact. Rock. Elbow! That's it. That's what she did. Beautiful corkscrew elbow drop. This one is over. She's looking at it. Oh, <laughs> that should do it. Here's a cover. Double title smash. Absolutely spiked. DDT. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team up there. Cover here. Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. She goes for the cover. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. She better do something fast. Look at her go. She breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. The end may be near. Boom, what impact. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team. This could be it. Oh, it's locked in. The cross face. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. A competitor has been eliminated. Back between the ropes. Do it all again. <laughs> and her partner's looking to get back in there. She's tired of resting. She wants to go. Scoot slam. Oh, look at this. The power. Beautiful technique. She goes for the cover. Kicks out in time. She's still in this one. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. She is ready for a fight tonight. She might have it. She better do something fast. She is on fire. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. This capacity crowd starting to sense she goes to the cover. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. This might be it. Oh, my. I bet you feel foolish. She goes for the cover. The bionic elbows. <laughs> over <laughs> and over. Oh, incredible combo. That has got to be it.
the cover. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Oh. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations could be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. This could be all she wrote. Nailed it. That might have done it, Cole. Six-man tags can be fought. She's looking at it. What an all-star ensemble in the ring right now. Six of WWE. Ooh, what impact. Got every ounce of that one. This could be a... She goes for the cover. And the count's broken. Keeping the match alive. What a stop. Good grief. Vicious strike. Beautiful technique. Ooh, what impact. It's not very often you see six superstars of this caliber competing at the same time. You've got to believe this one's over. Gets the tag. She's clearly not getting paid by the hour. She might have it. She better do something fast. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. In off the tag. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Harsh impact. Looking for all the glory here. If she gets in attack mode, look out. Scoop slam. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before looking for the win. Boom, what impact. 
Oh, he's back in full control now. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is. She goes for the cover. How did she kick out? The size of this girl's heart is simply immeasurable. Thanks, plan. Coming. In off the tag. This might be it. Oh my. We're looking at complete domination here. Face first. All set up. He's not going to get a tap here. He'll wind up elbow drop. Right to the back of the neck. Six of WWE's most alpha personalities all competing in the same match. There's a good chance this one ends deteriorating sooner than later. Twist of faith! She goes for the quick pin. Oh, that was a close call. Wow. That's pure power, guys. Oh, Looks like she wants to win early. Both teams working well here together. It's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She looks for it once again. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back. Shoulders on the back. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Anderson. We're going to lock it in here. She's almost out of it. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping, I think. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. Look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Jarring impact. Keep your eye on this one. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap here. For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? We know what's coming here. I don't think this is going to do it. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Double chicken wing applause. Slam slam! She is on fire. Going for broke. Harsh impact. Game, set, match. This one is over. I think that's it. She's in control. She's in full control now. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. 
one of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. No, there's the reversal. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double-team move, and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring. Can she keep her down? Neckbreaker. Oh, what a splash. Oh, what impact. Look at her go. Setting up for it. Perch in the corner. Spear! This one's over, guys. That one was even more impressive than the first time we saw it. What an all-star ensemble in the ring right now. Six of WWE's most successful competitors for sure. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. If that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Batista! What a spear from the animal! Look at her partner. She's calling for the tag. She might want to think twice about that. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves, and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Back now inside the ring. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double-team move, and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. If you have until the referee's count of five, it's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. She goes for the cover. Two! When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. That should do it right there. Two! Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles. She's looking at it. She better do something fast. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael.
Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Oh, nasty impact. She goes for the cover. It's not very often you see six superstars of this caliber competing at the same time. Now, <laughs> it's over. Going for it all here. That could have been it right there. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose, she goes for the quick pin. Oh, nasty ball. She may be in a bad way here. She's got two partners in her corner itching to get in there, guys. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members in the six-man match. She wants it one more time. Ooh. She's got it now. She's licking her chops. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. This might be it! Oh, my! Deep, deep trouble here. Oh, look out. Let it drop. Now back to the ring. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. She goes for the cover. <laughs> Guys, it's got to be instinct that keeping these six competitors going at this point, there's just no other explanation. Not so fast. She breaks it. Yeah, but it's got to just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. Look out. There she goes. What a match this has been, guys, and it's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. You gotta believe this one's over. To the outside where she has all the time in the world to do what she needs to do. Given what we've seen so far here tonight, it's hard to believe that one of these teams will walk away from this match with their heads hung. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. She's starting to feel the pressure. She really needs to think about making a tag, guys. This woman has absolutely no quit in her, guys. 
taking on a little offense like this isn't going to end her night. I can assure you of that. I wouldn't worry about her too much, guys. She seems one big move away from picking up the W here. Man, what a slam. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guy. Oh, right to the chest. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. She looks... Oh, this one's over, guys. She's ended many a match with that move. Yeah, let's get another look at that. Down she goes. And she might just stay down there. Will she win it here? Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal... That not rolling through. Whoa, she broke the hole. Simply amazing, Cole. I really thought that was it for her. Gotta be nearing an elimination soon here, guys. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked well off the apron. Beautiful technique. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. No, oh, what a slam. Look at this. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean, they have to be on fumes right now. Oh, man, what a leg drop. I think she's trying to prove a point here. She's looking at it. Better do something fast. No surprise at how exciting this match has been. This is the kind of action you expect, and she's able to break out of it. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. Got the reversal. Drop kick. Beautiful. In a powerful takedown. She might not know where she is right now. Ooh, 
Ooh, what impact. We know what this means. Oof. He's back in full control now. The bionic elbows. <laughs> over <laughs> and over. I love it. And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Going for it. Going to step through. All on their belt. Harsh impact. Wow, what a gritty performance. You don't get stretched like that and a expect to walk the same way. What a six-man tag match. Well, tag team matches are one thing, but make it three-on-three, three and it's three times as good. Take a look. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Here are your winners, Diana Coral. That may have been one of the most painful submission moves we've seen in a long time. I can honestly say that a win is a little more satisfying when you make your opponent tap out. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest.